लोगों को मंजिल तक पहुंचाएंगे। I want to ask Shubhodeep to please come and speak. Jai Bhim Lal Salaam. Jai Bhim Lal Salaam. Lal Salaam. Lal Salaam and Jai Bhim to my comrades and heroes of ACU. It is because of your fortitude that we ultimately came back and. Still now, this campus is not saturated by police. I mean, when we were on 22nd and 23rd being uh, shifted from one police station to other and ultimately landed in the central jail, uh, after a point, we've, and no kind of information was coming about how things are happening in campus. And the only way we could try to imagine what's happening in campus is through very extremely coded, uh, language, I mean, uh, uh, conversation of police through walkie-talkies and the kind of image that was coming, the language like something, uh, some troublemakers had been neutralized and all ways of, I mean, organizing protests and stuff had been, uh, had been, uh, are all these kinds of things are under control because there is no water and electricity and we are thinking that at least we are here, we are getting food on time, we have access to water and washrooms and how people, our friends are, uh, surviving in campus and it is it was after in central jail when we got newspapers and I and we were like re, we were really uh, we didn't expect that with jack members and prominent faculty members in prison you people could sustain the movement and turn the tide it is pure fortitude that we made our only inspiration in at that time and let us frankly accept this thing that in this struggle against fascism uh, we should I mean we should take it very I mean we should know this very clearly that anytime anybody can be get picked up and there can be false cases and there will be characters and bodies that to be assassinated and obviously this will happen because they have guns they has they have their patterns they have extremely casteist institutions on their side while we have the people and the people united shall never be defeated. And uh, also, like about jail, jail was for us not a very bad space. Like because, I mean, it uh, it uh, had all those uh, unequal structures that are there outside in the society. Like from the beginning, we were treated differently as university students and other uh, criminals. I mean, under trial prisoners had to work for us the way we had access to the parks and the trees of the jail, other people could not imagine that. The way we could go on talking and stuff, even after lockup and stuff, other people could not imagine doing that thing. And also, like, I mean, uh, I mean fighting fascism in the era of neoliberal capitalism, I think that the, it is, any kind of walling or fencing is very fundamental to neoliberal governance. Like there are two kinds of walling that happens, the enclosures and the enclosures. These are the enclosures where you create exclusive spaces where which people would want to get in and create a certain kind of exclusivity. And then there are these spaces of incarceration of imprisonment where which can be used as bogey that any time when, I mean, if you don't do the official line will be put in there, the other kind of ex exposures. And it is much more easier to govern because you can always uh, put in police and cut off uh, communications I and mean, think about all the enclosures. I mean, the University of Hyderabad uh, or something like the Aparna Sarovar uh, or Diamond Heights, all those things. I mean, these enclosures, the way governance can happen so easily and the way by this, I mean, public uh, utilities can be given off to private agencies, like just think of the roads outside the, these enclosures, certain things that we took to be very fundamental to urban experience like street lights and uh, good roads and public toilets beside the road, all these things are right now being taken out, I mean these things doesn't exist and you have to pay for all these things, so you have these enclosures and with that you have these jails, these police stations where a different kind of governance by walling happens. And this thing, these two things, I think, run uh, always together because, I mean, for instance, certain things when we are there, 
had struck me very significantly. One was the animals in jail, like these cats and dogs, which used to sit for hours, I mean, at the same place, very uncharacteristically of animals. I mean, there is only other pla another place where I saw this thing, that was Ramakrishna Mission, another Krishna institution, where also that same kind of, uh, I mean, all those structures of imprisonment of control, where they are lockups, night outs, uh, don't talk loudly and all that, and they are also, I mean, after a point you start internalizing these uh, things and, I mean, these kind of structures as very normative. I mean, another thing that I remember is that in these walls that you have in jail, there was this thing written, 410 days under trial and a woman's name beside that. And also the other under trial prisoners who were there like uh, for something like years they were there without bail or something like think of this person an 84 year old person who was accused of being a pakistani national and was proved to be an indian national one year back so even after that he is staying inside jail not acquitted by some special laws think of i mean using uh, toilets without doors for 16 years of your life i mean what kind of embodied uh, i mean what kind of bruised embodied selfhood do you come out after that? I mean, what idea of self do you get out of it? I mean, I mean, these kinds of debasements are, I think, very central to, I mean, any kind of fascist governance. And so, but the things that we came out with, in the sense, this simultaneous uh, sloganing of Nid Salam and Lal Salam, of Jai Bhim and Lal Salam, I mean, these kinds of, I mean, solidarities that we carry forward, these will be, I think, really uh, significant bulwarks in this fight against fascism. That this is an united front against fascism. And so, on that regard, I mean, so whatever be our political ideologies, positions, Marxists, Ambedkarites, <coughs> nationalists, and I mean, whatever, I mean, I mean, whatever, uh, dog lovers, animal rights activists, uh, uh, people who, I mean, uh, talk of ecological movements, I mean, we should, whatever differences and debates we may have, I think all of those will be productive if we have this minimal understanding that primarily, first of all, we need to be anti-fascists. And, I mean, there we also need to identify and name our foes. So, right now, I mean, there can be various forms of fascism, there can be various ways that you can, I mean, propagate inequality, but first of all, that right now in this present conjuncture, it is Hindutva fascism that is, that should be our primary concern, I mean, by the Sangh and stuff. So, we should all swear by this thing that whatever other positions we take, right now, I mean, we should decide our sides that whether we are on the side of life or RSS. Jai Bhim, Interaction.